Tuesday morning, just taking Phineas for a quick walk. We got about an hour before we take off to the midwife appointment. I think maybe a sonogram's gonna get booked and then we'll talk about possible induction. I hope it doesn't go that far, but we shall see. Oh, Phineas, what are you doing, bud? Okay, let's get a burger before mom has his baby. Alright. Hey, I'm heading off to my feedlot calls this afternoon. I have some postmortems to do and some prolapses to fix. I think Diana's in labor right now. She's four centimeters dilated and it seems like she's having some pretty good contractions. But I'm hoping that I don't look back at this video and say, Cody, you should have known better. You shouldn't have went. Okay, let's see how the day unveils. This could go very good or very, very bad. I can do this. Step one, catch and shoot. Step two, get step stool. Step three, I need longer arms. She's got a CL on her right, left. She has a cyst. No, she will, but give her a shot. Okay, just finished up my prolapses. I had a rectal prolapse in a cow and a vaginal prolapse in a cow. Both were pregnant. Pretty straightforward procedure with both. I just do an epidural, clean everything up, assess tissue viability, make sure there's no tears, uh, reduce the prolapse, and put in a booner stitch. So a booner stitch is basically, a, it's almost like a shoelace for the suture material, put in with a booner needle, which is a big long needle with a, with a hole in the center that I can thread my suture material through. Both of those cows had some devitalization of both their rectal mucosa and their vaginal mucosa so I did put them on some antibiotics and some anti-inflammatories as well. Okay now I have a couple post-mortems to do. Oh and I preg checked the dairy cow. She was open. No big deal. Okay a couple more post-mortems to do. Everything's good with Diana. She's just having a rest right now in bed. I think this baby's coming tonight guys. I'm pretty sure. This girl here had this amazing bronchopneumonia, likely mycoplasma. I had also cut into her udder because when I was doing the PM, her udder seemed quite enlarged and hard. Saved this quarter to cut into it to see if we can't see something interesting. Right there. I've never seen a mycoplasma mastitis before. It's not something I commonly deal with. But I'm gonna take a look here because I am suspecting that this girl is in fact affected with a mycoplasma mastitis. Gross. postmortem of the day was on a feedlot calf that was 45 days on feed and he had a histophilus myocarditis. So this is his heart here and you can see the papillary muscles have these areas of infarction. This is a chronic myocarditis as you can see the white areas indicate fibrosis as opposed to an acute myocarditis where the area is completely red. Time to go home. Beautiful sunset. That's it. Day in the life of the cow vet. Pretty sweet. Get over, Finn.
three hours into active labor. Diana's been pushing for an hour, zero progression. The baby's head stuck at the brim of the pelvis. So she just got ambulanced to Calgary and I'm following behind. That's gonna match the same as baby. So you guys are bonded by a bracelet number. just in case. 